Because I thought New Vegas was pretty good, also. But New I think, Vegas is the one I didn't play that much of. I think it's no way better than Fallout 3. I think it gets the spirit. Yeah, a lot. Fallout 3 is the one I played, like, all the way. Yeah, I played, uh, I played, played that one a lot, too. To a nauseating degree of completion. This is very... Ooh. This yeah, is very mazy. mazy. It's like arcade maze, kind of. Yeah, Whoa! <laughs> Just some peds. <laughs> Petey. Petey the peed. You're with me. Yeah, I'm with you. These are amazing. I, um... <laughs> I don't like them in real life. Well, that's not true. I do. I just don't want them in my bathroom. I don't but, like them in real life. No, but I think centipedes are really cool. I have no shame. I'm totally into centipedes. Oh, man. This look fight, how wiggly they this look. This is really hard. We gotta run from this, I think. Oh, wait. Are they weak to magic? Uh, uh, try, like, ice magic. Ice? Yeah. Like ice too? Yeah. That's my best guess. Alright. Hang on. needs to not run. Then. I feel like we're gonna get They're totally because like they really screwed up Brad. Oh, Look how much they do a lot of damage. damage. Yeah. Except to Tony, because Tony has all the armors. It's because they got so many arms, they just like slap you. <laughs> slap you with all their arms. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean it deals pretty good damage, but like Jesus. Did you just invoke the name of Jesus? <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 They're, you might even say they're oh, level 15. I forget, like, I, 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 when people in the thread say something, I, I, kind of, I don't quite connect it to where we are, because I kind of forget where we are mm -hmm. at the time, <laughs> but, uh... Time traveling. Because somebody said they were in, like, level, like, 20-something, but I don't remember where they were. The game. Oh, to beat it? Okay. Because yeah. there's a few people who are, like, playing it alongside of us, I think. Yeah, it seemed that way. They know the secrets of this place. Silver seems like the worst metal to wear into a hot volcano. Yeah, it totally doesn't make sense. Silver is very soft. <laughs> I'll jam real also, quick. Also, my, my, my werewolf theory was uh, very wrong. <laughs> also, sages are all werewolves. Dramatic Whoa. look. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. Seems reasonable. <laughs> is that reasonable? Explain it. Yeah, give me proof that they're not werewolves. <laughs> well, we've never seen them as wolf. <laughs> That doesn't mean anything, right? No, okay. They have long beards. <laughs> classic werewolf feature? Yeah, classic werewolf feature. They have hair. <laughs> oh, cool. Also, you wouldn't expect to find gold in a volcano, because it yeah. also would melt. Yeah. I expect to find molten gold raining yeah. down. Also, who oh, put, this chest better built, be worth built these, like, drywall yeah, corridors this? in this volcano? <laughs> like, these incredibly... Oh, Argoyle. Red... Royal red Goyle. Gargoyle? What? Royal Goyle, obviously. Royal Goyle. <laughs> I don't want to fight any of this. <laughs> Wait, where are we supposed to level up then? I don't know. From boss fights. Oh. Oh, good. Are we just getting our... our... Yeah, we're getting our Pegasus <laughs> handed to us. I was going to say butts hammered, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not good for these today. We're, get, we're getting our butts hammered, guys. <sighs> That's great. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> the word struggle. Like, this is a lot of healing between fights. That's why we got so many capuchins. I mean, capu <laughs> that's why we got so many capuchin monkeys. <laughs> you know? You know? You know? Just a fire. I can handle a fire. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that every, like, elemental cave is yeah. gonna have its own version of this. Where they're, what, they look exactly the same. What do you think these guys are, ones? like, myth mythologic in the, in the mythos terms? Like, because we got your fireman deep in the volcano, presumably. Mm -hmm. um, but what's this guy? Just the spirit of fire? He what kind of looks like is... a gym. Yeah, like alright. An elemental Oh, gym. hey, actually, he seemed to be wearing those bangles. Yeah. Like a... That's kind of what I was basing that on. <laughs> my, my knowledge of Dijin is entirely from Aladdin. Wait, which way is it pronounced? I thought it was just Jin. Oh, yeah, you're probably right, and I'm mispronouncing it. Okay. I like to pronounce all the letters and words. <laughs> 
giant sword. Ooh. Hey -o. It probably is supposed to be good against giants, and it's not actually good against them. That's my hypothesis. Forty sixty-seven. Thirty-eight seventy-two. So it's Hits actually a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It has a higher chance to hit. Oh. It's like down two damage with plus five hit percentage. Oh, all right. Well, good. Well, good. Well, that's just great. That's just neat. That's just neato. That's just neato. That's oh, so real. We can fight these guys. Fucking neato. What's that? We can fight these guys. Neato. I can fight. I can fight giants and iguanas all day. You got your giant sword now. Oh. Yeah, I want to see that. Neato Cheeto. It's purple. If you will. Will you? I will. Oh, good. I was. Worried Did you would... see those uh, Sweetos? No. Oh, that sounds horrible. Sweet Cheetos. Well, maybe that's horrible. What do they taste like? I have no idea. I just I just saw like a promotional image for them. Although now I wonder if it was real. Now I wonder if it was just Photoshop. You can't trust anything anymore. I know. I don't trust. I bear, I bear, I don't even trust you. No, you probably should. I don't even know if you're real or you're just a Tumblr post, right? I'm a Tumblr. <laughs> you are a Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr. Ryan I'm a rock Tumblr. Tumblr.com. Rock Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> I polish your gems. Oh, um, I'm a I'm a lock tumbler. You gotta you gotta <laughs> do, pick do me. you polish locks? <laughs> I'm confused. No, no, I'm a I, like a like a tumbler on a lock. Oh man! See, I get, yeah, that's why I said you gotta. Corey's the better lock gotta, pick of the of the two of us. <laughs> he, he knows what a lock tumbler is. Uh, oh, was ogre and Groger. Oh. We were we, easy ogre. We did learn from the thread that like the bigger the enemy generally, the more worthwhile it is to fight them. Yeah, wait. So we, I did like that. I I, I like that anecdote about us fighting the snakes and running away from the giants because <laughs> doing the the least efficient but <laughs> thing seems totally our style. Mm -hmm. I'm totally into it. Oh, your sword looks cool now too. It's like big and fat. yeah, it's, it's big and purple, like some sort of big purple sword. Like the Saints Row dildo bat. Did I show you that? Yeah, I have seen that before. Okay. It, it makes kind me of think of Hop. Have you seen the new SJW Hop? Yes. It was just really yes. funny. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. You should, yeah, that's watchable. Good, good stuff. I feel like they haven't been doing much Hop lately. That's because they're busy and they have like real things that they do now. Listen, they need to make videos for the internet. Yeah, I know. Of, Kind of what is Ashley Birch is in like everything. Like she does yeah, she's all, voice all the voice all acting. Yeah. She's on Adventure Time. Is on BM Puppy Cat. Oh, she getting in with that whole crowd, is she? Yeah, I think I could be wrong, but I feel like even uh, Aaron of Grumps is doing voices for, or did a voice or something. Hmm. BM Puppy Cat, because he's like a voice actor, also. Voice directors, hire us. We make weird voices. We have the girl. Just, really like, hire Corey. Corey has a much larger range. Listen to my melodious voice. <laughs> hire me. Hire me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, narrate your dream project. Man, we keep... These guys. These guys are protecting the treasure chests. Why, though? I mean, like, what is a couple thousand gold to this... It feels like they should protect the fiend, not the treasure. I feel like they, they should the just treasure. be nice to us. We did row our canoe up a volcano <laughs> and then true. down into the volcano, right? We've been on quite a journey to get here. That's true. <sighs> this world is a change, and it's again that this generation, ugh, the, with the you know the eighteen to twenty-five year old age bracket and all. Appeal to the kids. Their app consumption. <laughs> All time high. <laughs> All them apps. <laughs> Damn, keep doing that. Well, that, I do, of course, mean it. Apples. <laughs> Eating a lot of apples, the kids. <laughs> you know what they say? An, an app an app, app a day keeps the, <laughs> app keeps app the doc doc away. <laughs> and as we know, we don't have, no one has help. Whoa, hands. look at all them treasures. Ooh. There were like five treasure chests. Oops. Yeah, you meant, that was my I don't know health insurance joke. It was, it was a oh that is a lot of treasure chests. You're right. I I see why you're distracted. What me. in the world? I feel like there's gonna be some. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of one pieces of gold. Oh, I feel like you're gonna like every square is gonna be fire people. Oh, I hope not. 
What do you imagine, uh, what do you imagine it's like to be one of those guys? To be a fire? Well, I bet it's like, ah, oh, where are my, uh, my legs? But it's like, oh, I'm burning, I'm fire. I'm burning and where are my legs? That seems pretty accurate. I'm burning, also, where are my legs? <laughs> <laughs> I am burning, also, where are my legs? Who's gonna... They look like they're reasonably strong, though, and that they could kind of walk around on their hands. Yeah, they probably have a pretty significant upper body strength. Or maybe they just float. They also have crazy purple hair, which is awesome. Oh, that is cool. I can't tell that. No. Here we are again. They're red and orange, but they have purple hair, and it's super cool. I like it. I like their witch faces. I'm very into them. Yeah. Their sharp noses. I like And it looks like they kind of have like a gem between their eyes, perhaps. That's oh, a I fine kinda, detail. Yeah, I see that. I, we'll have to do some updated s sprite to art analysis in the Final Fantasy book once I bring it again. Yeah. I'd I also be interested in to there. see uh, what the Those sprites ladies. look like in Origins. Oh, Someone yes. was talking about that in the thread as well. I'd, yeah, you're right. I'd be curious to see. It's them. cool to see them updated. I would want to see them here first, because I think they're pretty oh, yeah, impressive sure. here. Yeah, I definitely want to get through this completely yeah. before we start looking at the remakes and stuff but oh and okay and again these are probably things that people will know but uh origins wasn't there there's also like a psp version and like a wonder swan color version and i think the psp version might be the same one in final fantasy but it's like an hmm. upgraded version this is actually this is real loot why why really well that one was just a oh there's a wooden door down there a cubby oh, i'm worried though it's gonna be a. I knew this square was gonna be. Oh no! It's the great W. <laughs> what? Oh. What are you? It's the Woim. It's the Woim. What should we do? Fight them. You gotta probably. You probably can't run away from him because probably boosts. You're right. I just wonder if he has like an elemental weakness. Uh, his elemental weakness is probably sword element. So <laughs> silver. Silver element. Sage. Just feed him sages. Sage the herb. Yeah, uh, sage and pepper. <laughs> Very nice. Make a good a gravy for a worm. <laughs> oh, we killed him. Oh. No that gravy for him. I mean, I barely... St we didn't start at all. I didn't even break sweat. <laughs> Not even a roux. Gravy. Oh, I want gravy. No. Have you... Um, do you know it's the song... Thing. Yeah, it's I really want... Like, this is the gravy. That sounds awesome. Do you know the song, um, the mashed, mashed potatoes? Mashed potato? Do the mashed potato? I don't think so. Oh, it's, a, it's like a 50s, 60s song. Maybe oh. if I heard it. Fuck uh, this fight. Oh, PDs. No, thank you, peds. Um. <laughs> oh, because it's like... Because they rock us. They rock us. shit. Potato. Come on, baby. Treat me right. Is this a song? It's a real song, but it's a dance. You know, the, the mashed potato is a, is a dance. Oh, I feel like I know that. Uh, but the, uh, the person... I not Dee Dee Sharp who did the mashed potato I think there's a song that she released a sequel song because it's like a thing they did for sometimes but it's called I need, want some gravy on my mashed potatoes and and the lyrics are I need gravy on my mashed potatoes give me gravy on my mashed potatoes and the, but in the context of the song like you're dancing but the gravy on the mashed potatoes is like you know kissing and a hugging while you're dancing, which is a really gross metaphor, it but, is really gross. But, it, but, it, but it's it's true. All right, come on and treat me right. I Ooh, you're on. You're on. You're I too think hot. We're done on this floor. Oh, this is. Oh, uh, should we try to like go Ooh, back? And I'm restock? a little scared, actually. Yeah, let's go back. And oh, let's let's do a warp. We'll we'll probably cut this out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a break and do this. Yeah, I invented it. Oh my gosh! Whoa! All right, hang on. We're back because we gotta we gotta check out this hydra right here. Whoa! Oh, I bet it's like. I hope it doesn't rock us. It's rocking <laughs> us a little bit. Like a. We're gonna rock it back with critical hits from Tony. Like a cane. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh it's right. not that strong. Hydra. Hydra. <sighs> well, at least a level up. You were listening to the Scorpions. I can't say that I have. Rocky like a hurricane. Oh well, I know the song. They have tons of... Oh, that, they're, they're the ones that they are German, so that they... Oh, there's... Nah. You've seen one Hydra, you've seen them all. Mm, well, actually, you know, kill, 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 But they got... Anyway. They always have funny song lyrics, kind of. Do like, they? uh, like uh, there's a song called Bad Boys Running Wild. Mm -hmm. 
And it's about, like, animals running around the city, I think, also. But the one line was, dirty rats are on their way. But the way that he sings it... Well, A, that line is just ridiculous, because what does that mean? Dirt, dirty rats are on their way. <laughs> but the line is, it's, dirty rats are on their way. Wait a and minute. And you better get... No, dirty rats are something. Maybe that's wrong, but it's like, and you better get out of their way. <laughs> You did. You. I you, think I did, you tell did you this, that. but it was completely out of context. I had no <laughs> idea what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. There's also one where it's something like, "I saw a lady walking down the street, and I thought, or down the street, and I thought to myself, well, she looks rather neat.' <laughs> <laughs> which is, which is just great. Rather neat. Oh, rather neat. No. That's all I got. That's all I got for Scorpion stuff. Alright. Let's see Scorpion up here. Karib. Scorpions. Wow! Wait. Oh, Cho. That's a thing. What is? That's a Final Fantasy monster. Oh, Cho? Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'm pretty sure. I don't recognize that. It's a thing. I, uh... Hold on, I'm gonna Google. There's one in Final Fantasy X on Kilika Island. Oh. In the middle of the forest. Ocho. Final Fantasy XIII, too. Ocho. Let's see. Ocho. Also known as Ocho. 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 Yeah, That's yeah. it. Uh, yeah, you're totally right. Good call. Yeah, I did this, not is, even... this is a classic Final Fantasy monster. Right there. All the way in the beginning. Ochos. Location. They're giant plant monsters. Rivers around the world. Oh, man. They look wacky cool. Later on. Ah. Uh, yeah. And it's dead. <laughs> I've killed it. There are like mini bosses in a lot of the more modern huh. Final Fantasy games until eventually they just become regular enemies. Like, oh, look at this case. drawing of one. Oof. It's very large. A mono artwork. And then there's like Ooh. often like King Ochus and stuff. Oh, hey, here's another Dragon Dungeons and Dragons monster. Actually, is it really? Uh, it comes from uh, the. I remember the, the Dungeons and Dragons monster. It's called the. I don't know how to say this. O Yug. O T Y U G H. O T Y U G H. And it's pronounced with a short O and T. Good practically to a ch. <laughs> Make it the pronunciation close to O Chug. O Chug. So, oh, so they put it in the closest they could put it in Japanese katakana as, as possible. Hmm. And to transliterate it. Into wow. Ochu. So cool. it's just a Dungeons and Dragons monster. Um, I don't remember those guys. They're kind of. I don't remember the name of the plant monsters, but. Hmm. I guess they are. Aberration plant monsters. It's a yeah. It's a it's a Gygax monster. That's really cool. That is really cool. I wish. I want, oh man. I feel like it's had much longer legs as a Final Fantasy monster than as a Dungeons and Dragons. That's monster. a classic Dungeons and Dragons monster, though. It's in like a bunch of editions: first edition, second edition, third edition, three point five, fourth edition. It's it's been around for hmm. as long as this game has been around, probably. Well, I mean, you know, beforehand, but all right. Since nineteen seventy seven. <laughs> oh chug has been chugging. Oh chugging. So we've probably been back since uh, since the oh chug since the oh chug. But um, but yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're down here. We yeah. uh, healed up. We got a bunch of healing items. I also went ahead and just checked a guide. So I got bucklers for Andy and Brad. Yeah. And also we realized that we were just not reading the magic correctly. It's level <laughs> six costing twenty thousand. Not level costing six hundred twenty. Yeah, it's actually new versions of us because we died of heart effects. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, Andy can't learn level six anything until he uh, becomes a, a ranks a up fantasy man. Yeah. So, um, but Lisa, Lisa got her invisible two and fog two, and saving a slot for exit because exit's really good. Yes. Exit's the warp out of dungeon spell. So. Oh, that's tremendous! Actually, and now we're we'll back here. here. Oh, we're getting. Oh, it's hard to see, kind of. It is hard to tell the difference. Trying to see it now. Oh, there's just nothing here. Mm. It looks like it was uh, tending towards that corner, though. Yeah, it did look that way, but I don't think it. I wonder how many. Uh... I don't know. I'll start trying my best. What's up? Uh, to identify the Dungeons and Dragons monsters. Hmm. Now, oh, I, this is probably a thing because ogres are obviously. I mean, that no, it's a generic fantasy monster, also. Yeah, for sure. But but the idea of ogres and ogre mages, I remember being from a D and D thing. Ogre mage is a, definitely a thing. I think D and D's just had every idea for a fantasy monster. I know, some inventive folks, Mister Mister Jijax. 
That is such a crazy last name. It is very cool. Also, whenever I hear Gygax, I think Gygax. Mm -hmm. Earthbound. I was gonna say Earthbound. Ed Greenwood. Also, very cool name. Dave Arnson. Classic stuff. I'm very excited about the Ochu discovery. Yeah. Especially because that one was kind of a little bit more difficult to tell from the name. Yeah, that was just, uh, I was like, I, I could kind of tell from the sprite, and I was like, Ocho's not quite right, but I couldn't think of what it actually was. I, I think what's really interesting about that one is, like, whereas the Illithid Mind Flayer Wizards, oh goodness, um, lava for days. Are, oh, Royal Hydra? Rock Hydra, I'm going to go ahead and say. Or just Red Hydra, probably. Uh, Roddy Hydra? I, th I think Rock Hydra, because it's a magic card. Oh, nice. Also, it was red. Oh, oh and it's, <laughs> it's gone. But... But the Illithid Mind Flayer Wizards, mm -hmm. definitely not really a thing, I don't think, that has persisted throughout Final Fantasy. Whereas the Ochu, as yeah, you indicated and as the wiki confirmed, that's the thing that's been yeah. through Final Fantasy. So it's weird that they carried a, their own D variation on a D&D &D monster all the way through yeah. the, their own series. Like Because if you go through, I know that um, Ochug appears in... TRPGs, like I, I know it does. Really? Yeah. So it has its own other digital, like it's weird that they were like parallel. Yeah, like, parallel developments. Well, really, that's pretty cool. A theft that evolved parallel. Yeah, yeah. I know somebody also talked about when the manuals were localized to. I think right on something awful. Somebody might have mentioned it. When the manuals were localized. Like the D and D manuals. Like D&D books. Yeah, but weren't, wasn't, wasn't what they were saying is that they drew inspiration from the wizardry, which yeah, itself drew I think inspiration right. from D&D? &D. Yeah. I thought that was what was... That's weird, though, because I don't... Maybe I didn't play the wizardry. I know. I have not played very much wizardry. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that it pulled that many D&D &D monsters, though. It has its own kind of weird... Uh, this seems more in line with D&D, &D, like, spirit and feel than... Mm -hmm. uh, wizardry does. Wizardry is kind of, well. W wizardry just kind of has a goofy feeling to it. Yeah, you mentioned how it has like a more lighthearted feel. It does, like the manuals and stuff. Well, you know, um, there's a you know Wardna at the bottom of the dungeon, the like necromancer in the first three wizardries. His his name is just Andrew backwards because it's named after one of the developers. Like, it's actually kind of like a Nasir kind of thing wow. that we were talking about. Like That's, it, that's really funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love stuff like that, though. Self-insertion. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, though, like, Gygax has done that, too. Like, mm. like there's like, what, you know, because his name is so wacky already. Right. Gygax. Exactly. Oh. Grey Woim. I don't know how much D&D stuff you know, too, but, like, especially in, like, second edition, there's lots of, like, named, like, characters that appear, but, like, only in, like, suggestions, like, in spells and stuff, like Morden Kanan and, uh... It feels like Dark Souls picked up that same habit. Yeah, totally. There's a ton of named characters that only exist in item descriptions. I think that's kind of cool. Like, and I mean, named regions and stuff. Yeah. They all have a common ancestor, which is kind of interesting in yeah. the diversity of gameplay that has resulted... It's also why I'm looking forward to playing back through Dark Souls 2 as uh, in the Scholar of the First Sin yeah. edition because they change a bunch of the item descriptions Ooh. to be more lore specific. Oh, I would like to play it again. Um, yeah, we keep talking about it. I mean, I think that has a really good D&D style feel. Um, yeah, the other game, it. strangely, that I associate with it uh, is, it's going to sound weird maybe, but the original Thief. I love the third level because it takes place in a crypt. It seems like that's one of my favorite, like in my head, kind of versions of like descending into an actual D and D module crypt. Like hmm. it feels like that. Like you're you're descending for a treasure. I don't know. I always thought that level was really cool. I don't think I got that. <laughs> if, if you played, if you played it, like the first two levels in Thief, like you're you know you're fighting guards, you're sneaking around guards, sealing stuff, and then in the third one, I think it's the third level. Like, you're in an actual crypt and it's the living dead. So it just becomes suddenly supernatural. It's very weird. I like it. It's very D&D. &D, yeah. Which is why I think it's cool. It's creepy. Plus it's like kind of janky 3D, which makes it yeah, a little creepy. What I remember with that game is that it was a fucking nightmare to get running and that it crashed constantly and I couldn't really make it work. It's, I actually... Do we go oh, this is true. I actually Wait. started playing it and I think I posted a couple of times for uh, when the Brady Gamer did his, oh, yeah. his thing. 
like I forgot what it's called, like his classic game club or whatever. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, is he still doing stuff? I think he posts occasionally. I don't know what he's doing. Cause like when you were linking me to his stuff, it was like really his heyday, and like he was yeah. very busy and posting a lot of stuff and doing podcasts and stuff. I listened to quite a few of the podcasts and everything, and then like I sort of got out of it, and then like. I check back every now and again. It seems like the podcasts aren't happening anymore. I don't. Like, I think he must be. Fo- I mean, he's also an academic. Like, so he does, yeah. and he does theater and stuff like that. Like, I think that might be maybe more of his focus now. Mm. He has kids too and stuff. That's weird. Yeah, as one would expect at that age, mm-hmm. end up having kids, having a job.